So, I don't know much about Blender. I've used it a couple of times over the years for stuff, but I'm not that great at it. Um, I just never felt like sitting down and learning it. I know it's powerful, but I just can't be bothered most of the time to... You know, I just couldn't be bothered. Um, so anyway, lazy. So I thought, I'm going to do something this time. I'm going to learn how to do this, because I saw this and I'm like, this looks cool. I mean, look at this. I'd like to be able to do something like that, you know, draw on a video, whatever. So, I figured, why not, try it out. You'll have to excuse my uh, old appearance here, because it makes my computer run faster to have everything down at minimal. So there's my blender. I never use my blender, ever, for anything. So, I'm going to use it. It just sits there. So there we go. Introduction, I'm going to follow the instructions as I go. And I hope it's recording. So, uh, introduction to the grease pencil tool. So, press A on the keyboard, and then press D to delete them. Okay, A, and then delete. Yes, it's okay. I can do that. Did I do it right? A, delete. And okay. Okay, okay. There we go. Step one is done. Step two, hold D and just draw a stroke. Okay. D and draw a stroke. Hey, hey. I can draw with the D on the keyboard. Okay, good. That's done. Now, rotate the view with the middle mouse button. I don't have a middle mouse button, really, so this kind of sucks. Already I'm messed up. I, I just can't do that part, so let's keep going. I need a better mouse. Step 3. To see more options for drawing, press T and bring out the tool shelf. Click on the grease pencil tool. There's T. And I don't see no tool shelf. You lie. Press T to bring out the tool shelf. Oh, here you are. Hello. I see options. Okay. So, click on the grease pencil tab. You did say that. <coughs> Step 4. Four basic tools used for drawing. Draw. Enables the brush to draw a freehand stroke. Draw. 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 Freehand stroke. Okay? Erase. Erase it. Bye bye. Line. I can draw straight lines. Pew. Pew. Whoops. Ew. Oh, each and every time. Okay. And then it goes away. Poly. Create polygons. Okay, make a polygon. Meh, 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 meh. Made a polygon. There. Right clicked to stop it. Good. Step five. You need to hold the D or press the draw button each time. You can avoid this by checking the continuous drawing option. Alright. Continue. Uh, continuous drawing. Draw. I can draw forever. Never stopping. Okay. That's good. Enough of the continuous draw. How do I get out of it? Press escape or enter to two. Okay. Boom. Escape and I clicked it. Now at the lower part you will find the stroke placement option. Okay. Stroke placement, there it is. Let's see. View. Strokes are locked for the view. So what does that mean? Strokes are locked to the view. So that means, okay, so they're locked, whatever that means. I get it. No, I don't. Strokes are drawn with position determined by the 3D cursor. What does that mean? Um, okay. Don't know what that means. Surface. Drawn on the visible surface of a 3D object. I don't have any 3D objects, so I don't see how this will do anything exciting. And stroke is 3D space projected on others. Uh, it looks like I'm just drawing to me. I don't have anything to draw on, so I guess it doesn't much matter. Okay. With the mouse in 3D view, press N to bring up the Properties panel. N. N. Looks like a Properties panel. Right? 
I'm scrolling up. Yep. By default, a new layer will be added when you start drawing. Let's see. Sets the line color. Okay. Stroke sets the line color. Is that it? No. What are you talking about? Stroke. And where are these things? I don't see any stroke. <gasps> Here's stroke. Hey, that looks good. Ooh, I see colors. I can do colors now. So this is changing everything I currently have. Okay, so now my drawing should be in this yucky, ugly, green thing color. Fine. And fill. Fill. I don't know what fill. I think it's, it shouldn't make any difference because it's a... Uh, yeah. The f it's just a line, so there's nothing to fill. Oh, unless I do a poly, maybe? Will it fill that up? Maybe? No, look at that. It is 3D. Oh, that's cool. You see that? Yeah, I see it. It's in 3D now. Nice. Okay. Thickness of the stroke. Thickness. Make you a thick stroke. Make you nine. Oh, you're nine. Nine stroke is nine. So, continuous draw. I'm going to keep drawing lines until I get tired of it. Wow, I just did a bunch of lines. And poly. Oops, i got to hit escape. Poly, continuous line. Kind of big and bigger and smaller and further away. This is 3D drawing. I am drawing on a 3D space. I like that. Okay. Escape to get out of that. Click that to get off of that. <sighs> X-ray. Makes lines visible when they pass behind other objects in the scene. Okay, I get that. Press the X to remove the grease pencil object that is the rough scribble you just made. I have to lose all my work. <gasps> it's gone. It's gone. The X is dangerous, but that's okay. Okay. Blender allows you to use the grease pencil to do 3D animation frame by frame. Just delete it. Okay. Press 1 to get into front view. 1. 1. Um. On the number pad. Yes, very good. 1. Okay. I did something. Press 5 to toggle up perspective mode. 5. This will give you a nice flat view. Okay. In the grease pencil tab, turn on continuous drawing. Okay. Continuous drawing, draw. Oh, and everything reset over here. That's good. I have to remember that. A new layer was created. Press shift down arrow to make sure you're on frame 1. Shift, oh, shift right arrow. Shift right arrow. I'm on frame one. I don't know how I know that. Oh, down here I see frame one to 250. So I'm a, I'm doing a 250 uh, frame video. So that is a rough circle. Press the right arrow to go to the next frame, frame two. Didn't do that. It didn't take me to frame two. Um, oh, I have to exit continuous drawing with escape, then I can go to frame two. No. Do I have to get out of, do I have to click on continuous drawing and then do it? No. Oh, wait a minute. It is taking me to frame two. I'm looking in the wrong place. Okay. Okay. So, that's frame two and I draw that. I hit the right arrow. It disappears as soon as I click it. Okay. So right arrow. It's still there, but then I can do this. It's still there even though I hit the right arrow. I still do that. Okay. I'm getting used to this. Right arrow. Draw something and it disappears. So 
get this. Okay, I got a dude. And I hit the right arrow. Still there. As soon as I start to draw, it goes away. Okay. Hit the right arrow. It's still there. But as soon as I start drawing in continuous mode, he goes away. This is good. Right arrow, start to draw, goes away. Okay. Understood. Step four. Yes, I, if I read that, I would have known it. Step five. Yes, repeat it to make a shot. I'm getting it. Hey, that's cool what he did there. I respect it. Press escape to get out of it. And for the shift left arrow to get into the first frame, or press the go first frame. So escape, I'm out of continuous drawing. Shift left arrow takes me to the beginning, to the first frame. And if I go to the right arrow, left arrow, I see all my frames. I like this. Press the play button or Alt A to preview it. Okay. Alt A. <gasps> it did something. And it's still going even though I'm run. Okay, so. There's 250 frames. I've only used a few of them. This is fine. Escape got me out of it. There's also a play button here someplace. I, um... Right. This is a play button. That is a play button. That's a pause button. That's a rewind button. Okay. And the more frames, the more fluid and smooth. Now, the grease pencil also has onion skinning. In the properties, under grease panel, select onion skinning. Properties in the grease panel. I'm on grease panel. Pencil. Pencil. Grease pencil. The grease pencil panel is not over there. It's over here. Properties. Motion tracking. Background images. Render border. None of these. Onion skinning. I like you. So, onion skinning. If I hit the right arrow, boom, 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 it shows me what I did before. Okay. Good, then I can trace over myself. This is very good. Can I draw on something I already drew? And I add, oh yes I can. Right arrow takes me to, okay. The right arrow is moving me forward, but it's not, the onion skinning is still showing the past frames. They should slowly start to disappear as I go to the right, and they do. So that's showing me about two frames before. This is frame number three. So this is three. Three starts to fade away. I'm on frame number four. Four fades away. I'm on number five. Five fades away. Six. Six fades away. Seven. Seven fades away. Eight. Eight fades away. Shift. Left arrow takes me to the beginning. Okay. Um, you can choose the color for previous and next frames. Why would I do that? Oh, for the onion skinning. Ah, I see. I see. So here, escape gets me out of that. So, my previous could now be, I don't know, some kind of a red thing. Okay. So now when I go left and right, Nothing changed. Nothing changed. Um. See, nothing changed. So. I don't see the good of that color feature. I'm sure it works, but I don't. It's not doing squat for me, so I'll just leave it alone. Should be red before, purple after, whatever. Okay. Oh, and the number of frames before and after you can show. So, you can show before, you can show two before and one after if I want. And I should be able to... It's working. Good. Alright. I can see how this is going to be useful. Let me go back to zero. So I just see one before and one after. Or one before. That's good. Okay. Now, you can add layers of drawings. Press the plus button on the side to add a layer. Plus, 
it says no that's not it haha <laughs> this plus plus adds a layer I have a new layer this is layer Bleh, it looks the same to me but this is a new layer draw continuous drawing this is brand new so this layer should not affect the layer below it this could be very handy if I'm putting pictures in all right layers can help to fill in objects as required I'm sure you're on the first frame from rain the low layer ground okay um, rename it ground how do I double click to rename very nice I'm double clicking it's not renaming okay so much for double oh I have I'm still in drawing mode get out of drawing mode double click and I can rename you so this is called ground ground is my first layer I want the ground to be stable so I don't have to draw it in every frame that's fair enough I'll go with that so let's change this to a hello a green All right good with that and make you thick make you 12 or something I don't know 12? 12 good. and um, I should be able to draw no do a line alright let's get draw there's my ground right right so that's on that layer and press it says press play or alt A to see the animation get out of drawing mode escape alt A ah. so that the layers do not interact with each other okay alright I get you I got gotcha. you what else can I do here preparing the footage Okay, I'm going to stop here and start over in a minute.